Hi, uh, can you please tell us your name and uh, what do you do? Um, uh, my name is Adrian Mars. I'm a carriage driver. And this is my horse, Harley. And we work here in Central Park. We do carriage rides and tours all around Central Park. And I've been doing this for 11 years. What was your biggest tip? My biggest tip? Biggest tip? I don't know. Um, let's see. Almost two hundred dollars one time. Yeah, but in eleven years, <laughs> doesn't mean, happen every day. We had some. Uh, Most people pay like you know, respectable ten or twenty percent. Not everyone. <laughs> it's not a. It's nothing you can really forget. Go ahead. Um, I do have a question, but um, what's it? You can pause. Take your time. Um, tell us about your carriage, please. Hmm? Tell us about your carriage, please. The carriage. Okay. Uh, currently, uh, I'm the maybe the fifth driver of this carriage. The owner of it, his father, used to drive many, many years ago. Um, then he passed the carriage on to his son. He then it was kind of off of a job downtown, he couldn't refuse. Very good paying and good insurance, etc. So they asked me to drive. Uh, currently, I've been driving this carriage for almost a year. And I have three horses, Harley, uh, Bentley, and Billy. Bentley should be returning from vacation very shortly. He's been in Pennsylvania for about two months now. What kind of vacation is that? Hanging out in the fields, just um, not really doing a whole lot. Um, it's probably pretty boring. There's not a lot of horses out there, and most of the horses came back to the city. But he gives him a break, you know. Uh, he can come back and work for the winter time. I think that's probably the winter, uh, spring and fall, probably his favorite season anyway. So he's going to come back. I'll have these two horses. My son hopefully will be getting his license soon. And the two of us will be driving this carriage sometime. How long it takes to get our license? Well, they only hold the test every three months and only 25 people can take the test. Um, so it can, it can take a while. Uh, the study material is fairly extensive, so it helps to have horse knowledge. You really have to study intently. You need a regular driver's license first. Um, when you pass, if you pass the test, there's three parts. If you pass all three parts of that test, you then have to do 80 hours of on-the-job training before you can drive a carriage. An, an experienced driver or owner has to sign a sworn affidavit to say that you are confident and ready to drive. If you're not ready, forget the 80 hours. They'll make you drive 200 hours or 300 hours until they're sure you're ready to drive. Uh -huh. and that was the that was the that was true in my case. Um, when I passed the test, the owner of the carriage didn't think I was very confident to drive. So I said, you know what, give it another couple of weeks. Let's get you uh, a little more experience before we let you have the horse. So he did. And then when I did drive, I, I was assigned a very experienced horse, which apparently 15 or more other drivers had trained with in the past. Wow. So I was in good company. And I drove an excellent horse by the name of Cowboy for about six months before I graduated onto another horse. And after I finished working with Cowboy, I want to say oh, two or three more drivers also trained me. And then he finally retired. That's all 11 years ago now. How old was he when he retired? Uh, 26, maximum age. Wow. He was very, very healthy, very strong, and very, very safe to drive. This one has a good muscle too. Mm -hmm. This one has good muscles too. Oh yeah, he was basically, he was built like a tank. He was, he had a, a huge barrel on him. And very, very muscular, but slow and steady. He wasn't a fast horse, he, he didn't race this horse around. He wasn't like a horse from the racetrack. He was, he was, uh, he was bred for farming. He was actually too small to, to work with the farmers. He was way too small. Oh wow. Uh, short and stocky, he, he just wasn't big enough to work with the, uh, the other plow horses. <clears throat> so he worked out perfectly here in New York City. 
the carry force. And he worked here for many years. Uh, so is there anything else you would you like to express and show us? Yeah, um, I would like to show a little more of my horse here. Hard. What is the, if you have a relationship? She's, she's amazing. She loves people. Um, she was a little shy when she came in, but she's now been, I've been working with her for a couple months, and anytime people come by to visit us, I encourage them to say hello, and uh, pet her, she's very friendly. You have to be careful with every horse that you meet. Um, it's good to always ask the owner if it's okay to pet a horse, but I actively encourage it with her, she's so friendly. Uh, some horses can bite, she's not the type. She's great with everyone that comes to visit her. And the more people that come to visit her and say hello, I can see she's, she's feeling happier, she feels special. It's just, um, she's making that connection. People are making a connection with her, and she can tell when children are excited and happy, she takes an interest in them. Uh, I think um, if people want to come to Central Park and visit us, they don't have to take a carriage ride. If they do, that's awesome, but if they just want to come and say hello, that's, that's great. Bring carrots and apples. <laughs> And um, yeah, we're, we're, we're always here. That's good. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're